see if this works. I have a canceled check for you. It clearly says that you were paid by Uncle Chuck to read the will. That it does. My apologies. I'll go to the mansion mansion right away. Great. Let's do it. DJ Octobit, Mod by Grizzly, Ashfear, Vornafe, and Hijanks. Thank you all for the subs as well. Really appreciate it, dudes. Thank you, thank you. I see we are all here now. Excellent. Oh, Before we, we can proceed with the reading of the will, Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One, Thimbleberry Pie must be served to all present. Two, the reading of the will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Oh, it's all ones and zeros, Dolores. You figure it out. It binary. is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. Uncle Chuck was being clever. Maybe too clever. Hmm. Uh. This is all in binary. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. Ah, your dad plays. Nice. Saw that. This isn't working. I'm going to need a pretty powerful programming language to decrypt this will. While Graphics Basic is pretty amazing, I can't use it in that. My Commodore 64 is now supercharged with Graphics Basic. <laughs> Okay. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. Oh, Lord. Now it's an ASCII. Hmm. I'm sure oh, I converted hex. the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. It must be encoded. I need to find the key to decode it. Maybe if I could remember Uncle Chuck's lucky number. He used it to win the lottery a few years back. Hmm. I'm sure I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. No, no, she converted binary to ASCII. Yeah. Um. Hmm. We need his lucky number. Uh... The painting is in its up position. It's Uncle Chuck's old desk. Find Uncle Chuck's lucky number. Lucky number. What do we have of his? Fat. No, it's not. I don't think it's 1138. 1138 is... Where do I know that number from? I don't think that would be his, his number. I don't think that would be his number. Dolores. It's from a stupid space movie Dolores can't stop quoting. The painting is in its up position.
that painting is in its. But even then, like I need to, hmm. I need to use an item. I'm sure on it. I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. It must be encoded. I need to find the key to decode it. Maybe if I could remember Uncle Chuck's lucky number. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multiband oscilloscope. It doesn't work with that. Could be in the book. Also, it could be, oh, it could be a Just lottery down. ticket. That's right. They mentioned specifically lottery ticket. Let's go talk to the quickie pal, and maybe he'll be like, oh, your Chuck always used to get so-and-so with this number. Let's take a look. Welcome to quickie pal. Can I help you? Hi, Dolores. Welcome back to Thimbleweed. <laughs> Shame to hear about Chuck's death. He was a great man. Dude was charming and smart and full of integrity. Sure. That was nice of him. Um, Still working at the Quickie Pal, huh? You know it, Dee Dee Licious. I'm keeping it real here while I work on my inventions. You're we do adventure? have a decoder, but well, it's a red not decoder. Exactly. So. But once I figure out how to get what's in my head onto paper, I'll be just like your uncle. Right. How's your cousin doing? I heard he got into MIT? Yeah, he did. The total dweeb. The town looks pretty dead now. I haven't been home in a while, and it seems like half the store is packed up and left. Yeah, there's a pretty gnarly ghost town vibe out there. But the diner is still open if you want to pay to lose your lunch. Uh, and the arcade is still going strong. Hmm. Why would you want to be like my Uncle Chuck? The man is my hero. He had it all. Babes, brains, and fat stacks of Benjamins. Who wouldn't want to be like him? I think the rat's well, just me, sleeping, for guys. One. <laughs> I think I've beaten all the games in the arcade. Oh, yeah. I think you still have the high score on most of the machines. It's funny. I don't get to play as many games now that I make them for a living. You work for Mucus Phlegm, right? Yeah. Bodacious. My uncle wasn't perfect. Uncle Chuck was human, after all. There's another side to the man he showed in public. Yeah, but I bet it was even more awesome than the one we got to see. I always wished he was my uncle. Although it would have made my crush on you in high school super weird. <laughs> Barftastic. See ya, Leonard. Come back soon, Dolores. <laughs> the little guy just chomps as we walk by. Uh, people are saying we should check the uh, newspaper factory, which makes sense. If you won the lottery, I'm sure it would have been in the papers. Let's go check that out. It doesn't work with that. D did I find it? Fine. I, okay. Can I pick that up? I can read it fine from here. Okay. Um. Uh. Hello, Dolores. How's There's life in the big the city? Having a lot of fun. Interested in a little interview for the award-winning nickel? I'm sure our readers would be fascinated. Can I make a copy of it? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe after. It's a perfect way to... Local girl makes good... Making... What is it you make again? Adventure games. Ah, games. You mean for kids? No, our main audience is adults. Lots of shooting and killing, that sort of thing. <laughs> Adventure games are all about story and characters. Sounds like something I would like. 
I'm writing a novel. It's about the first female president in 2017. <laughs> I didn't know you wrote fantasy. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Dolores. I'm not sure why I stopped by. That's okay. I know times are tough for you. I'm a little confused over my feelings for Uncle Chuck. He was a complex man. I think I need to go. Bye, Dolores. Sorry to hear about your Uncle Chuck's passing. Bye, Natalie. Okay, so can we can we use? I don't have any windows to clean. Okay. Um. I can read it fine from here. The Copytron takes nickels. There's got to be a way that we're supposed to do this. Um, I missed one of the dialogues. Yeah, but I think. Hello, Dolores. I'm not. That's, I know. Mind if we talk? Oh, I could write. What else? Do he was a charm. Yeah, no, that's that's everything. I right think. Now. Bye, Dol Bye, Natalie. Okay, this is really awkward. Um, because it says we haven't found his lucky number, so I'm assuming we can't just use her computer again. Although maybe we can. Hold on. I'm gonna save it real quick and try going back to the mansion and just using her computer again. Maybe you need to find his winning ticket. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Let's see. I decoded it from binary and got a bunch of hex numbers. Knowing Uncle Chuck, he would have encrypted the will using the unbreakable exclusive ore and using his lucky number as the key. Okay, here goes. The rest of the bits are irrelevant to cryptography. I'll just bitwise and them away. I did it. Awesome! Do you hear my last will and testament? I declare that I am making this last will and testament of my own will. I declare that I have no children. I hereby appoint Brant Baldwin because it's actually the will. Do I serve without blood? Oh lord. And do we don't actually get to read the will. I did it! It's totally decoded now. I love how if the will doesn't say what we want it to, they're just going to blame me for decoding it wrong. Here's the decoded will, Mr. Balowick. Let me see. You've done it, Dolores. Two of Chuck's three stipulations are now fulfilled. The will is decoded and the tomb is opened. We still need a thimbleberry pie, and then we'll meet inside Chuck's opulent tomb. Yes, Dolores, do you have a question about your uncle's stipulations? I had a feeling the tomb has been opened. Yes, it has been opened. My tomb alarm went off recently. Well, I didn't open it. No need to be modest, Dolores. Yes. Before we can proceed with the reading of the will. One, thimbleberry pie must be served. Two, crack the encryption on the will, which you've done. Three, finally, the reading of the will will be in Chuck Edmund's opulent tomb, which is open and ready for us. Thank you, Mr. Balowick. <laughs> Why Thimbleberry Pie? You know how much your Uncle Chuck loved Thimbleberry Pie. He just wanted to create a celebratory atmosphere. Hmm. Yes. So we've Before got we to get one, pie? Thimble two, crack the encryption on three. Finally, the reading... Thank you. Didn't we have Bye. Thimbleberry Seal Pie at the beginning of the game that we had to use for something? 
Yeah, we totally had thimbleberry pie. Um, but the problem is, um, we did something with it. Oh, that was in the past. Oh, it was. It was. That was in a flashback. Uh, yeah, we gave it to, to the shop. To check. But we, the, the chick in the bakery used to be a... Or the chick in the tube shop used to be a baker. That's a good point, chat. Let's go check that out. There. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Mm. Goodbye. Don't be strange. That's not gonna work. Um. Maybe she has to ask. Maybe. Doubtful though. No, it's not. It's not this one. No, it's not. It's it's Main Street. She's too far away. Well. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? Ricky, you make such great thimbleberry pie. Can I get one? I'm sorry, hon. I'm out of the pie-making biz. Strictly tubes now. Oh, no! I have a problem, then. In order to hear my uncle's will read, I need one of your famous thimbleberry pies. Well, in honor of your Uncle Chuck, I'd make an exception. But there just aren't any more thimbleberries left. Your uncle had them harvested to extinction. There must be some somewhere. It's sad, isn't it? The last thimbleberries were spotted out in the old forest. Not the forest. I always hated it in there. Yes, pretty spooky. No one goes there unless they have to. People have been lost in there for days. Days! And I heard some never make it out alive. It's true. I've heard those stories too. And then there's the old bear problem. So... First thing, you'll need some thimbleberry picking gloves. You know how those thorns can leave you breaking yes. out in wells. I just happen to have an old pair I could loan you. Yes! Thanks! All right, there we go. That was our problem. So that's perfect. Um, let's go to here, and I think he may have some more repellent, just in case. Because that may be an issue. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Thank you. Okay, so I don't know exactly how we get to the thimbleberry bush, but I know that we've done it pretty easily a few times, so we'll just keep bumming around until we get to it. Boop. Ugh, smells awful. Ugh, smells awful. Long minutes of furious berry picking later. Okay. So, can we just take this right... The map right is useless in this forest. Oh, okay. Um, let's just try taking this right back to the pie. And if I wonder if we can open the casket, because then we can get the fingerprint to use that thing in the mansion. Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't here. What am I doing? Here. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? I have the thimbleberries. Can you please make me the pie? You found them. Good for you. And no welts. I was very careful. And also, your gloves. Won't be needing them now. Thank you. I'll go Oops. make it now. Won't be a jiffy. 
Here's your thimbleberry pie, exactly how Chuck liked it. Thank you. Hmm. Now, we can't just go to the cemetery, right? Let's try going to the mansion and talking to them first. I'm at the staircase. Should I use it? Yes, Dolores. Do you have a question about your uncle's... Here's a freshly baked thimbleberry pie. All three of Chuck's stipulations are now fulfilled. I'll meet you all in the tomb. Oh! Nice. Now, all three of Chuck Edmund's stipulations are fulfilled as we stand next to his remains. I will now read his will. I, Charles Edmund, being of sound mind and body, do hereby declare this, my last will and testament, blah, 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 legalese here. Ah, yes. It is my will that the entire estate of all property and money be passed to... Yes? Yes? Madam, quiet, please. To the Amalgamated Holdings Corporation. What? And that all of Thimbleweed County be plowed under and a giant server farm be built in its place. You gotta be kidding. What? Woo! <laughs> Doug likes farms. The destruction of Thimbleweed County will begin two days after verifying this will and testament. Oh, and this last part in tiny print. Dolores gets a Pillotron 3000 t-shirt. This is as much as he'll ever get from Pillotronics. Lenore gets nothing. Franklin gets nothing. Doug gets my ceremonial zinc-plated shovel. Yippee! Well, good day. I'd better pack now. Here's your zinc-plated shovel, Doug. And your t-shirt, Dolores. Enjoy. Well, I never. Come along, Peter and Chucky. We're leaving. Wow. That was the whole part five. <laughs> Love it. Love it. That cutscene was all of part five. Something is very wrong here. I need to get into the factory and see if I can figure out what happened to Uncle Chuck. Hmm. It's Uncle Chuck's sarcophagus. It's much too heavy to open. And I it's a Pillowtronics t-shirt with a tube on it. The only thing I got from Uncle Chuck. I feel like this was his final insult. You think we could fingerprint a shirt? Um. I mean, if we can get a fingerprint. Yeah, the AI. I mean, the the thing was in binary and everything. So I'm 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 with you guys. I'm thinking the AI had something to do with it. Uh, that tape is for official government business only. Oh. I can't talk to that. Well, then go through it. Come on now. Use your head, girl. My lord. Mm. Nope. Uh, that tape is for official government business only. Oh. Oh, wow. He wouldn't let us get it. Okay. Well. It's a Betamax tape that I can't watch because no Betamax players exist in this town. Blazing saddles by... Hmm. Hmm. Nothing in there but charred trash. So we still, oh, we need to call 2783. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. For today, proper start time for station one is 2.40. Oh, okay, so we'll need to get his, his thing fixed first. Um, oh, about the show your badge thing. This guy already knows that we, uh, 
Yeah, this dude already knows we're an agent, so I don't think showing the badge will help, but we can try. Well, take a look at this badge. Let me see that. Ah, oh, you work for the government, too. Oh. Uh, okay, go easy on the tape. We're Good almost job, out. Good job, chat. Apparently you're right. Cool. Go easy on the tape. We're almost out. Can I add that to the fingerprint tip? kit? I'll keep it outside of the kit. Okay. So... I don't want to waste the powder on that. This is part of my inheritance. Hmm. Hmm. Still don't know what a fingerprint from Chuck's. Still want to know what this secret... Where's the electric fence? I don't... Did it say redacted on it? Oh, redeemed. Oh, it's redeemed already. He was giving out redeemed things? So we need to find a toolkit to fix this watch. Totally boarded up. Nothing to see Where here. Where is the the dude's business that got shut down? Okay, it's not this one. Yeah, where we need to find that dude's store. Is it back here? Yeah, here it is. Here it is. It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. We redeemed it for the Betamax? Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, we still haven't done a lot of stuff in ThimbleCon. Let's go, let's go look at ThimbleCon. We, we only talked to the lawyer in there. We haven't really done anything else. Where's the clown bro? Let's send him in there because there's a look-alike contest for him. Maybe we can win some good item. Oh, Chuck's journal? Um, that's actually a great call. Do we still have that? Who had the, who had the journal? I don't want to waste the powder on that. That would have been a good call. I'm with you on that one, chat. What about this? If only my makeup came off so easily. Shut up in there! Deckard is totally a replicant! It's a character from an upcoming adventure game called Robot Island. I don't want to talk to him. Wow, that's rude. I don't want to pick that up. Cutting edge computer technology. He's Cory! And he's Cory! And not to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get into character for the lookalike contest. Yeah, so? Get out of here! <laughs> Good one, Cory. For a moment, I thought you were Ransom the Clown. Amateurs. Wow! No need to start swearing. And get a better costume. It's like you're not even trying. Ooh, burn. That's super rude. I need my joke book in perfect condition before I enter the contest. Oh. So that's where the joke thing is. It's a bunch of boxes and lines. Game design, probably. I have nothing to say to a game. I don't want to talk to them. Starships in bottles. Handmade. His name is Sexy Riker. How much do your starships cost? More than someone in your pay bracket can afford. But today we're doing a special deal. If you can answer me this one question, you will get a free starship in a bottle. What is the question I need to answer to get a free starship? Warning! You only have one chance to get this right. Which is the best science fiction show ever made? 
Star Trek, congratulations! You've won a replica of the Starship Isabella. Go f yourself. <laughs> You'll not find better starships in a bottle than these. The plaque says it's a tiny replica of the Starship Isabella in a bottle. I don't want to play games with my starship now. Okay. Um. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> I don't want to talk to him. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I also have a rare and priceless hint guide to a forgotten text adventure called Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. The big guy in the red spandex might be interested in the Star Trek scripts. Okay. I teased a guy to tears over D&D once. Okay. I only read my own comic. Okay. How much of the hint guides? The Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide is priceless. Just sell your soul and I'll give one to you. If I thought selling my soul could solve the problem, I would have done it a long time ago. It even contains a secret word that will crash your computer due to a bug in the code not caught by the testers. Big deal. How about a trade for the stupid hint guide? What do you have to trade? A first edition Ransom comic book? Wow. A first edition Ransom the Clown comic? After his total meltdown, that's become a collector's item. You almost look like him. Except your costume is pretty crappy. I'll trade you the Priceless Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide for it. What a f rip off. Did I get it? Oh! I don't need the I don't need the ready thing. Get ready for this. Famed text adventure game designer Ron Gilbert was quoted as saying that text adventures are here to stay. The fad of adding graphics will die soon enough. When entering the colossal dungeon cave, heading to the east will cause instant death. Head to the west and look around. There isn't much to see, but you might notice something important. It is rumored the designers hid something here that has never been found. It might just be a red herring. Uh, head to the west again and you will find yourself in a room with a beam of light. Many have pondered the significance of the light and its relationship to the larger story being told. Uh, warning while in the chamber with the robots issuing the secret de debug word fizzscum will hard crash the game and take down the entire computer forcing a lengthy reboot. Cool. By the way, interesting fact, if you can't read that, you're probably colorblind. Yeah. Kind of interesting. If if you're if you're looking at this right now and you don't see like pretty clearly what's being there, you're probably colorblind. Or at least have a little bit of color blindness. Which is very common, by the way. That's not it's not really out of line. Actually, wait a second. Is that that's purple text. So actually I don't think that makes sense at all. Because it has to be two certain colors to be colorblind. <laughs> so maybe maybe that was all incorrect. Uh, funny story, by the way, if you can't read the text in this, right here, um, you're probably really good at basketball. It's a true fact. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure I read that on Reddit. Where's my decoder? Does she have it? She does have it. So let's give, uh, let's give this to her real quick. Or give this to him. Great. More? Okay, use this like that. Okay, same thing. Um, however, I want to try this. It's a revolt. It's a revolt. Here. Maybe that'll do something? We'll see. Fake news with your host, Co Carnage. 
Okay. Heading to the east will cause instant death. Head to the west and look around. Okay. Okay, maybe this isn't for here. Head to the west and look around. There isn't much to see, but you might notice something important. It is rumored the designers hid something here, but it's never been found. It might just be a red herring. Head to the west again. You'll find yourself with a beam of light. Uh, I'm not doing this right. We're just back at the beginning. Mm, maybe we have to head east first? East. West and west. No. It did tell us to look for something. Hmm. A lot of folks to saying to uh, go visit the, the woman again. We can do that. I haven't been there in a long time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can't go with him. Let's go with her. I thought people the saying look at the head. Knows. Like in Monkey Island, but we... His head seems almost alive. I think I saw it move. Oh, what? Pretty disgusting head. There's a small name tag. Sep the Navigator's head. Dude, are you serious? Oh my god. That is too funny. Can we just pick up all this stuff? No way I'm touching that. A mysterious force must be hold a mysterious force must be holding it in place. I thought we a tried to pick all this must stuff be up. Holding it. It's a bottle of Eric's eye magic special drops. The label says Holinkinyo tea. A magical tea. Gives you the gift of speaking many languages. Welcome to the thi the banana man. What do you have on sale? We're up to our eyeballs in curios. We got books coming out the wazoo. And that's how we bring occult savings to you. Up to 50% off and two for one in our summer blowout sale. No refunds. Goodbye. Hmm. Don't touch the books unless you know what you Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. Love it, dude. All right, let's go see if this head works. Can we get this one? A mysterious force no. must be holding it in place. Let's see if there's anything else we can get while we're here. We already got the Book of the Dead from the top. All right, let's go back to the forest and see if that works. This is how it worked in Monkey Island, so that'd be kind of awesome if it worked here. This is an illegal arrest. The feds, ah, ah the feds. Wow. 
Pretty disgusting head. There's a small name tag. Sep the Navigator's Head. Hmm. I can't push that. I can't pull that. Pretty disgusting head. There's a small name tag. Sep so the Navigator's he's... Head. Hmm. 